Hi, I'm Kristen Pettit, Assistant Professor of Medicine at the University of Michigan. Uh, I'm here to talk about a clinical trial that I'm, I presented this year at ASH 2019. This is a phase two study of a novel agent, IMG7289, also known as Bomodemstat, in patients with advanced myelofibrosis. Bomodemstat is a novel inhibitor of an enzyme called LSD1. LSD1, or lysine-specific demethylase 1, is an enzyme um, that is important for megakaryocyte production. Megakaryocytes are the cells in the bone marrow that are important for production of platelets. They also help drive inflammation and fibrosis in patients with myeloproliferative neoplasms. Bomodemstat is an oral medication. It's taken once daily. The treatment plan as part of this clinical trial is somewhat unique. So patients all started at a very low dose of Bomodemstat, and then the doses gradually increased in each individual patient to target a platelet range of 50 to 100,000. So the treatment plan, the individual dose of the medication is really personalized based on the individual platelet patient's response to the medication. Patients included in this study include patients with intermediate to or higher risk myelofibrosis. They've all been treated with ruxolitinib or Jacophy before, have either not responded to ruxolitinib or have lost their response to ruxolitinib or had intolerance to the medication. Patients also importantly have had to have platelet counts over 100,000 to enter in the trial since the mechanism of the action of the drug will drive the platelets down. So, Thus far, we've treated 31 patients as part of this trial. The study first opened in Australia and then moved to the United States, and it's now open in Europe, a few sites in Europe as well. Um, we're still uh, learning much about this drug as time goes on, but what we've seen so far is that the medication is generally well tolerated and safe. We have seen some changes in taste, we've seen some nausea, and we've seen thrombocytopenia or lowering of the platelet counts as expected given the mechanism of action of the drug. Um, we're still learning more about the efficacy of the drug as time goes on. What's been really striking to me is the symptom responses in patients. Almost all patients who have been treated on the medication have had a decrease in their overall symptom scores. Of those patients who have uh, been treated for six months at this point, which has been about 10 patients, half of them have had a significant reduction in their symptom score by 50% or greater. So that's something that's very exciting to me. We've also seen some reductions in spleen size or spleen volume. We've also seen a few improvements in anemia, and we've seen a few reductions in bone marrow fibrosis grade. So this is a, a very interesting and exciting new potential treatment in myelofibrosis. The study's still ongoing in the US and Europe. Uh, in the US, the FDA has given the medication fast track designation, which means that as data is coming in, it's being reviewed quickly and given priority review. Uh, we're looking forward to next steps with this treatment, both learning more about which patients are most likely to benefit and who is least likely to benefit and how long these benefits might be maintained for. We're also looking at ways to potentially combine Bomodemstat with other treatments, including JAK inhibitors like ruxolitinib. And we're also looking into um, potentially treating patients with ET with this medication as would make a lot of sense given the, given the mechanism of decreasing platelet count and decreasing inflammation in this disease. And I look forward to being able to share more uh, about this study with you at future meetings.